QuickBooks Online 2023 Bundle Month 1 Reports for a Client. Get ready to start moving on up with QuickBooks Online. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We started up in a prior presentation using the 30-day free trial. We also have opened the free QuickBooks Online sample company. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. If you want the two open at the same time, we suggest using the incognito window or another browser. You can open the incognito window if using Google Chrome by selecting the three dots in the browser, incognito window, and then type into the search engine, QuickBooks Online Test Drive. We're going to be using the sample company to compare the accounting view and business view. The accounting view is the view Get Great Guitars file is in. The business view is the view that the sample file is in. If you want to switch between the two views, you can select the, top, the cog up top and switch the view down below. We're going to be opening up a few tabs to put reports in by right clicking the tab up top to duplicate it. Right click on the duplicated tab to duplicate it. Tab to the middle and then we're going to go to the reports on the left. Where are the reports? There they are. And then we're going to open the balance sheet report like we do every time. If you're in the business view, by the way, the reports are in the business overview and then the reports. And let's go to the second tab to the right open up the reports again this is going to be the profit and loss report and then let's change the range let's close the boogie and change the range from 010123 tab 123123 tab run it to refresh it and then go into the middle tab and do the same closing the boogie scrolling up 010123 123123 on the range run it to refresh it now, last time we talked about, in general, the reports that we have been constructing. Now we're talking specifically about getting these reports to a client at the end of the period. Now, there's a lot of decision making you need to do on your own to think about which reports that you want to give to a client. And I'm going to I'm going to change the end date here to the end of the month. 01 31 23 because we've entered one month of a, of a information. Let's do that here as well before I forget. 01 31 23. So then we're going to be compiling this information and giving it to a client. Now, you want to think about how to do that because the presentation is going to be a key component for many clients, especially those that aren't experienced bookkeepers, right? They're dependent on you to do the bookkeeping or the accounting, or even if you're working in a corporation, then oftentimes, you know, they might not be totally familiar with accounting stuff so you the so you it goes a long way just to make it look nice and make sure that you're dependable on the delivery of the reports and that they are formatted nicely so then the question is well how can we format them nicely well we did some adjustments to the formatting you might want to think about the formatting of internal reports versus external reports and then think about which reports we want to be grouping together and how to be providing them uh then to people so for an external report you might change the format such as getting rid of the pennies and uh and possibly changing some of the formatting on the numbers so the easiest way to do that we did this last time is we can go to the customize up top and we could go into let's remove the pennies because usually they're not necessary for decision making and they kind of clutter things up i like to make bracketed numbers and show the red and then on the header and footer I usually get rid of the date, time, report paces, which are shown when you print the reports on the bottom of the report in the footer. So I'm going to run that. So there's just a, a quick kind of overview of the report that we might give to external reports that I might not do for internal because internal I might want the pennies, for example, uh, and so on. We also could have comparative reports comparing month to month and quarter to quarter. but 
Uh, we only have one month of data thus far, so we're not going to do any comparative reports. Once you have comparative reports, they get much more complex in terms of which reports you want to be giving to a client. Do you want to compare month to month, a quarter to quarter, this month versus the prior year, same month? You can do all those kinds of reports. So once you've saved it, you could then customize, save the customization, which we did last time. We made a group here for month end reports to make it as easy as possible to then pull them up to then provide them at the end of each period. So if I, if I do the same for the income statement, we could do the same thing over here and say, okay, I got the date range. I'm going to customize it. And then we're going to get rid of the cents, bracket the numbers, and then let's say on the header and footer, sometimes you might want to change the profit and loss to an income statement, which you can do here because that could differentiate you a little bit from others. And some people are more familiar with an income statement kind of report. So that's one change that, you know, you could decide whether or not it would be worthwhile to do. And again, you could save this customization. I would save it to our month end reports, which we have done in a prior presentation. And that way, if I go to my reports on the left tab and then the reports on down below, closing up the boogie, you've got the customized reports. And at the end of each month, if you have them grouped in this format, I can then go into these customized reports and just change the, the date and then bundle them together. So once we have our re reports this way, then the question is, well, how am I going to bundle them together? How am I going to be giving them to a client? Well, if I open each report, I have the option up top to email it. But if I email it, I'm emailing one at a time. And oftentimes at the end of the month, I might have multiple reports, especially if it's not the first month of operations. So emailing one at a time is probably not the best way to go. You can print it. And if you're giving it physically to someone, that of course would be a great option. We can export it to a PDF which would be a good option because then we can have multiple PDF files that I can then group together, possibly zipping a file and then give it to someone possibly in a OneDrive uh, shared file or something like that, or a Google Drive file or something, or, or I can zip it and attach it to an email so I can have one email with all the attachments, or I can use Excel and Excel is a great tool because it allows me to further format uh, if I want to add a little bit more formatting and it allows me to to print all the reports on one PDF file with, with a pretty convenient way. You can also get much more detailed by using Excel and possibly Word in conjunction to have formal reports that you can really customize uh, if you wanted to in that way. Or we can use this tab to the right or to the left, the report manager tool, which allows us to put all the reports into into like this this setup report thing this gives us one pdf file which can look fairly professional but is somewhat limited at the same time so let's let's first think about like maybe one or two other reports that we might want to add to the lineup that we provide so we got the balance sheet we got the income statement i might also say okay let's go to the tab to the to the right right click and duplicate it and let's add another report that i might be putting in place here let's go to the reports on the left close up the boogie and then up top I got the standard reports we also have this uh, balance sheet the summary report so this any kind of summary is often useful to give to someone as like the the intro and this basically breaks out the balance sheet by by line item now this isn't something I would use internally but if I'm given, if I'm trying to do a presentation or if I'm giving a report that I want to start basic and then get into more detail, I might give a report like this to get the, to get the things going without, without overwhelming anyone. And then you add more detail as questions happen. So you try to draw people into the reports or draw people into a discussion that you can then expand on instead of overwhelming them with too much data up front, which is often what ends up happening. Uh, for many people, which we want to avoid. 013123. And so I'm going to run it. And then again, we can customize this. Let's customize it. I'll get rid of the, the sense, bracketed numbers for the negatives, red, header, footer. And let's say this is going to be a summary balance sheet. Okay, date, time, report basis. Okay, and run it. So there we have that. 
so that looks good and then i'm going to custom save customization i'm going to put it into my month end reports and save it so there we have that one so that looks good and then one other report that you might do is like you might go into the the income statement and you might do a similar report here by just collapsing the items and you could collapse this way if i collapse this way it collapsed all the sub accounts that we have created, but we don't have many sub accounts. You could try to give them a report that looks like this, where you've basically collapsed uh, each of the each of the of the type account types, and this gives you a, a really quick kind of summary report. And that's another way that you can you could try to group uh, your reports, and you might you might uh, customize that. Let's let's right click and duplicate this tab, and I'll expand this one. And then I'll collapse the columns on this one, which you could, I have the expand and collapse here, but that's not doing much because I don't have many sub accounts. It would do a lot if I had a lot of sub accounts, but I might try to close all these up too. And, and at least like this, it's like that sub account was expanded. If so, if I collapse versus expand that payroll, that's the one that's being uh, collapsed there. But I could try to do something like that and provide it to somebody i'm going to just do it this way i'm going to i'm going to open them up and i'm going to keep that payroll one as the difference between expanded and collapsed and if you have a lot of these sub accounts that makes a big difference but we only have that one and so then you might call this one i might save customization as a summary summary income statement which i put into month end reports so then and so then if I sort my data on the first tab in my reports here, now I've got these multiple reports. If I refresh the field, I should have multiple reports, that is, if they pull them in here and then go to my customize. So now I've got these reports. Now I might want to number them to see which ones I want first. Like I might want the summary first, the two summaries maybe first. So, or I might want the two balance sheet reports first, summary and then the full balance sheet and then the income statement reports. Let's do it that way. So I'm gonna number this one so I can see it in order that I would like to print them. I'm gonna edit it and I'm just gonna put a number one in front of it so it'll sort it. So I'm gonna say, let's say save and close, check the report periods. I'm gonna say, okay. So now there's the number one report I'm going to edit the balance sheet report. I'm going to call it number two. And then I'm going to save that one and close it. And then the income statement summary, that's the one I want to put number three, number three. And then I'm going to save it and close it. And then the, the income statement I'll say is number four. So then I'm going to say number four, save it and close it. Now that I have those, I can think about how I'm going to provide them to a client. I could just open them up, one, two, three, four, change the date range to the relevant date range, and then see how I'm going to group it, either in a PDF file, Excel, to then make one PDF file, or the management reports. So let's see how that would work real quick. I'm going to go to the balance sheet. If I'm just going to print these out, if I open them all up, and I just print them out now, I can just go uh, print, export to a PDF is how I would normally do it, and then just save as a PDF. And then I'm going to put them into my folder here. Here's where I'm going to put them. And I'm just going to grab that PDF and drag it into the folder. And there it is. Let's see it in a large view. There's the balance sheet. So I'm going to, I'm going to rename this one, right click and rename it here and I'm, this is my actually my number two report i'm going to label it as a two in here so that if i give it to a client i'm going to show them which ones i think they should open first second third and so on so here's your your income statement so if i if i export that to a pdf and then save it as a pdf i can go boom there's the income statement i'll just do it for all the reports and then i'll change the names this is my, what I called my summary income statement. So I'm going to say, let's go export and this is save 
and this is another income statement. I'm gonna to have to change the names so, because they'll have the same name. I'm gonna right click on this one and say rename. This is going to be balance sheet is number two. This is gonna be number four. And then my summary income statement was gonna be number three. I'm gonna right click, rename, summary income statement, uh, number three. Summary income statement. Hopefully I spelled that right. If not, I'm not, I apologize if not. <laughs> and then we've got the balance sheet, the summary balance sheet, which I have said was number one, export to a PDF and then save, pull it over. And there we have that one. And I'm gonna rename, right click, rename it and call it number one. So then now that I have these, I could then just give these to a client uh, one at a time, but I might, that would be kind of tedious. There's four reports, that's not too many, but if there were more than that, which there will be if we had comparative reports, we might want to do something else. At the least, we could, we could make a zipped file. So I could say, let's make another file and call it, call it, uh, month, I'll say, I'll call it the same thing, month, month one reports. You'd probably want the date as of, you know, the end of January, but I'm just going to copy these and put them in here. And then I could right click on it and compress it, which they call compressed to a zip file. Now your zip file might look different. It might just have a zipper on it, but then I can attach this to an email. So I would either have someone attached to my cloud drive or whatever so they can open up the file and then I have them one numbered here so they can actually open them in order instead of alphabetical order or you can give them an email now with a zipped file which will then open up as one attachment instead of four and it'll have the numbers in it. Now our other methods would be that we can send it to Excel and then use Excel to get everything on one PDF file which is kind of neat or we could we can use our management tool over here so we've got let's do this one real quick if i go to the manage reports i'm going to say i want to i'm going to copy or duplicate this overview report and just show you how you can use this thing real quick so if i if i say let's go into this and and edit it we can go into it you got page one you got the manage report you got the company uh subtitle that you can add report period you've got the prepared by if you wanted to add a name here and prepared date if you want to have that and then a disclaimer second page is the table of contents so you've got your table of contents on page two and then the third page is going to be an, an introduction page that we can add if you want to have like an intro before the reports are, are put in place so you can set test on the introduction page and then you've got your uh, reports now by default it pulls in the profit and loss and the balance sheet but that's not what we want now we want the ones that we adjusted so i can say add a report and i want to be picking up the balance sheet that we made which we called there they are they are they're up top they're under the category of month in reports number one balance sheet so that's the one i want now i'm gonna have to change the title name i'm gonna delete these two by just hitting the trash can boom boom add new and this time i'm gonna say number two and then i'll add another one number three and then i'll add another one number four and boom now I'd have to go in here and edit them with a the pencil so that I can get rid of this number. I don't need the number one so and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of that in the title. And so let's say, let's do that. That should work. And then edit this one, get rid of this junk in the title. Don't want that. And then this one, we get rid of this junk in the title like so. And then one more, we get rid of the junk in the title, like so. 
and save it. So there we have that. And then the next tab is your, is your conclusion page. So it gives you a nice little summary. And if you were to print or preview it, and then it gives you a little bit more professional looking report format with your table of contents and intro page where I put the test. And then your reports are formatted a little bit differently. They're nicely formatted, but you are still somewhat restricted to the formatting you know, of the report, right? So you got your income statements and so on. So that's one method we can use. It's, it's a neat tool, but it's somewhat restricted. Your other method would be that we export them to Excel. So I'm gonna to try to export them in order this time. I'm gonna get the summary balance sheet. Let's start with that one. I'm gonna to export to Excel and then use Excel to make one PDF file from all the reports and show you kind of some of the benefits, pros and cons of that. So I'm gonna pull this one in to my Excel work, my worksheet over here so I can rename it. And I'm gonna make this one the master Excel sheet where all my reports are gonna go. So I'm just gonna call this month one reports. And then I'm gonna open it up. And there it is. So now I, now I can format in here. So the formatting is a little bit different. I usually go to the tab to the right and then back to the tab to the left. I'm not gonna get into any more in-depth for, formatting, but note that you could do do some formatting in here like you could make like the title uh you could make the title like like uh black and white if you wanted to and you could put grid lines in it if you wanted to and you could and then you could you know change these from a different format of the underlines and whatnot so i won't go into it in detail but and you could also change the fonts quite easily in here and just a slight little change on the fonts could make a big difference in the look and feel. Now I have to, exp I can see the end of the page is over here. So you can try to center it pretty easily over here into the, into the end of the page and do some formatting like that. You know, so there's a ton of stuff that you can do in Excel to make it a little bit more, more formal. You can also try to have your introductory page in Excel if you wanted to, or combine Excel and Word as you make your 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 master reports which gives you more flexibility but i won't go into that in detail i'm going to put all the other tabs down here and then use a cute pdf printer to print everything on one report so i can go back on over and i'm going to go okay let's do another one let's do then the balance sheet the standard balance sheet i'm just going to export this one to excel but this time i'm going to open it I'm going to copy the data and pull it into my other sheet. So I'm going to just open that. And before I do anything, I'm just going to enable editing, put my cursor on the triangle, right click and copy, minimize, go into my other report, add another page, put that in A1 and paste. And then I'll check my formatting page layout back on over and I can do any minimal formatting I want, which I'd have to do to every report if I wanted to do it, but it's not too much of a problem to add like black and white, expand this to it fits on a page. And so it's two pages long. I'm not, not a problem for me as long as it's not two pages wide. And then I can do, I could do grid lines or any other kind of formatting that I wanted to do from there. You could change these lines right here, all these lines. Like here, 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 here. I'm holding down control here, here. Instead of having them be those kind of lines, you might add an underline so that you could still have grid lines. And then, and then this one, uh, and then you can add a grid line like this. And you could still see the grid lines and then the underlines and so on. So you can, Play with those kind of formattings but this one i'll call the balance sheet and then let's do another one i'm going to go back on over and say now we've got the this is the income statement let's do the summary income statement first which was this one even though it doesn't say summary on it i should have changed the name let's say this is the summary summary income statement. Let's export that to Excel. And then I'll just open that up. And I know I'm doing this quickly, but it's not an Excel course. So I don't want to get a lot, 
too time too much time on Excel, but just point out the idea. And so I'm going to go back on over here and add to Excel again, put that in A1. This is, I'm just going to call it summary balance sheet or something like that. Tab or view to the right, back to the left. I'm going to scroll in a bit. And so again, I might just say, okay, I'm going to make this black and white. I'm going to, I'm going to make this wider until it fits to one page like that, maybe. And then I might add my grid lines or whatever I want to do to change it, change the font or whatever I want to do to make it a little bit special, a little bit different, not too crazy, just a little thing to stand out, maybe stand out from the crowd. And then we're going to go to the next one, one more, and let's, let's uh, export this to Excel and open that up. And then we're going to say, uh, enable editing and let's scroll in a bit on this one view to the right view to the left there's my end end so i'm going to make this black and white i'm going to expand this till it fits on a page so it's kind of centered and then and then again you can add your grid lines or whatever you want to do i'm just trying to make it a little consistent once you have your reports then Ah, oh, man, now I, hold on. I'm going to copy this whole thing. That's not where I want to do the editing. I got it messed up. And then in here, I'm just going to put it in here. And there we have it. So now we've got, we've got the balance sheet summary and then the balance sheet. And then I, I did the summary income statement. This should be the summary income statement. And then this is just going to be the income statement. Okay. Okay. That looks good. Mui B to the end. So then when you print these, you can go to the first tab. And if I go to the printing option, I can use a cute PDF printer. That's the key so that I can print them not to a printer, but to a PDF file. And then I want to print not the one worksheet, but the entire workbook. And now you can see that I've got these formatted sheets that I can add a little bit more formatting, make them look different than everybody else's documents you know uh, and do my own formatting I'm not great on you know texts or colors or uh, or fonts it's not my thing but I know it's important Steve Jobs basically was a you know that's what he did basically put in these cool fonts and stuff I think that's one of the main things that he, he put it so it, and I, it makes a difference apparently I don't not maybe not to me but and or I maybe I don't recognize it but it's worth checking out so I'm going to then print it and then we're going to say this is, let's put this into our reports here, put them into my reports, make sure it's going to the right place and then I'll save it. And so then if I go in, I can then provide someone this report as another option. So I, now I can give them this PDF file with with all the reports on one so i can give this as an email and again you can see it has a different look and feel to it which takes a little bit more effort to do but something like this didn't take too much effort over and above just you know batching up the reports in and of themselves so you can you can uh you can toy with that those are basically your options now, you, you have all these other reports that you could give to clients, but remember most of the other reports are internal reports. Things like the aging reports, things like the inventory reports and stuff. You might not be providing those to the clients. You might provide the sales reports by customer and summary. And we've gone into that in prior courses and, and sections. So you, can, you could dive into which reports you might want to be using in more detail in, in those sections.